Video games have come a long way since the days of Space Invaders, but sometimes I long for those old days. I mean, those were some of my favorite games. I've been waiting for this because they're, all of the old games are my favorite. I'm not good at the new games with all of the fancy graphics. I like Frogger, Qbert, Pac-Man, the really pathetically simple games. I think we're really dating ourselves <laughs> here. But uh, really interesting, there's some software out there. It's been out there for a number of years. It's actually an open source project. It's called MAME, Multiple Arcade Machine Emulator. And essentially what a bunch of uh, programmers have done is emulated all those old arcade games. And uh, the software is a, a simple download. You just go to MAME.net and uh, hit the download section. And once you're there, you can download the Windows version. After that, you have to start searching for ROMs up on the net. Uh, a good website that we've come across, ROMNation.com. You do want to be careful because a lot of these ROMs or games are licensed uh, licensed games. You can't uh, download them and play them because uh, it would be illegal. illegal. But there are a lot of public domain arcade games and I guess that's the whole purpose of this uh, this main project is to preserve a lot of those old games because as you can imagine all those old arcade cabinets are just kind of going into the junk heap. Well this keeps them alive on your laptop. So it's kind of a cool thing if you love those old games any game you can think of from the arcade past like Frogger or Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Wizard of War, Wizard of War, we got that up here up. as well. Uh, Use the five key to put in coins. You're not wasting all those quarters anymore either. My God, I can't even remember how much money I, I blew at the arcade. I can't believe my parents supported that habit. There we but go. essentially, once you get going here, you can play one and two player. And this is the exact arcade game. What these guys have done is they've actually dumped the game or the ROM off of the arcade machine motherboard into software here and brought it back to life. It's called MAME. If you want to check it out, it's a great way to kill some time if you're on a long airplane flight or just waiting for that next meeting.